How's everybody doing? It's your boy Auto Trainer, and today we are playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered. Since there's not a lot of interest games that these new games don't seem to they don't seem to catch my fancy, so I'm I'm playing old old games. Okay, North America. Only the text in the... That's fine. Okay, obviously. Um, okay, so, oh, I think I know this scene. Anybody who's played Call of Duty, any call, like, who's been a Call of Duty gamer knows about this scene. Yeah. Uh, no, I will not be offended. Um, Alright, cool. I played Modern Warfare 3. On Wii. <laughs> I used to be so good at it, but now I'm trash. Okay, continue. Whatever. Anyways. Let me turn up the volume so I can actually hear. It's the FNG, sir. What the hell kind of name is Soap? Nikolai's in hell right now. We're gonna walk him out. We take care of our friends. This brings back a lot of memories. Zakayev. Imran Zakayev. Okay, so this takes place five years after Modern Warfare. The original Modern Warfare, not this new one. Moscow. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Boundaries shift, new players step in, but power always finds a place to rest its head. 
We fought and bled alongside the Russians. We should have known they'd hate us for it. History is written by the victor, and here I am thinking we'd won. But you bring down one enemy and they find someone even worse to replace him. Locations change. Yesterday's enemies are today's recruits. Train them to fight alongside you and pray they don't eventually decide to hate you for it too. Hmm. The U.S. Army Rangers. Same shit, different day. You know what I'm looking for, Sergeant Foley. Keep your eyes open. Got a new batch hitting the pit today, sir. I'll send you the best I find. Welcome to Pull the Trigger 101. Private Allen here is going to do a quick weapons demonstration to show you locals how it's done. No offense, but I see a lot of you guys firing from the hip and spraying bullets all over the range. You don't end up hitting the damn thing and it makes you look like an ass. Private Allen, oh, it's a tear. show me what I'm talking about. Grab that weapon off the table and fire at the targets behind you. Turn around and fire at the targets. Don't aim at the sight yet. I'm trying to make a point. Just fire from the hip. See what I mean? He sprayed bullets all over the damn place. You've got to pick your targets by aiming deliberately down your sights from a stable stance. Private Allen, show our friends here how the Rangers take down the target. Crouch first, then aim down your sight at the target. That's all there is to it. You want your targets to go down? You gotta aim down your sight. Aiming down your sights also works for switching quickly between targets. Aim down your sights, then pop in and out to acquire new targets. Show them, Private. If your target is close to where you're aiming, you can snap to it quickly by aiming down your sights. This is easy. Oh, shit. Now that's how you do it. You want to take down your targets quickly, and with control. Now if your target is behind light cover, remember that certain weapons can penetrate and hit your target. The private here will demonstrate. Last but not least, you need to know how to toss a frag grenade. Private Allen, pick up some frag grenades from the table. It's a private trainer, toss sir. Toss down the range to take out several targets at once. It's a private, tra it's a private trainer. Oh, these guys are Arabs. Okay, never mind. Yeet. Good. Note that frags tend to roll on sloped surfaces. So think twice before tossing one uphill. All right. Thanks for the help, Private Allen. Now get over to the pit. General Shepard wants to see you run the course. All right. Kareem, Hassan, Show me what you've learned so Ibri far. I can't even say these names. Abduzes Khalid. DJ Khalid! Out of my way. Corporal Keating, how you doing? Who are you? Who are you? Corporal Macy. Sergeant Carr. McCord. Chan. Poulet. I Arya. Arya. Levine. Levin. Theodore. Boone. Courier. Barb. Williams. Paleo. Lambert. Blumel. Adam. Lewis. I don't know what I've been told. Shining. 
80, Lucy, and Messerty. But Eskimo Pussy is mighty cold. Corporal Dunn. Hey, Private. Welcome back to the pit. Heard General Shepard wants to pull a shooter from our unit for some special op. Anyway, he's up there in observation. Okay, good. So you already got your sidearm. Do me a favor. Try switching to your sidearm. You see how fast that was? Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Well, smile for the cameras and don't miss. Shepard's gonna be watching. Of course. Best shooter gets to join the prima donna squad. If that's your thing. Okay, head on in. Timer starts as soon as the first target pops. I don't know why they don't... Ah, no, this is not good. Oh, damn kids at the night. Okay, out there, but you still need some work. Okay, head upstairs and regroup with your team, where you can go back in and run the course again. Uh, I probably definitely need a lot of work to do, but I'll just do regular. All hunter units, get to your victors. We're headed out. Everyone get to your vehicles. We're moving out. What's going on? It's been so long since I played this game. We are the most powerful military force in the history of man. Every fight is our fight. Because what happens over here matters over there. We don't get to sit one out. Learning to use the tools of modern warfare is the difference between the prospering of your people and utter destruction. We can't give you freedom, but we can give you the know-how to acquire it. And that, my friends, is worth more than a whole army base of steel. Sure, it matters who's got the biggest stick, but it matters a hell of a lot more who's swinging it. This is a time for heroes. A time for legends. History is written by the victors. Let's get to work. Okay. I think I'm going to end the video here. This will be our next episode.